Hello, and welcome to Stardew Valley. Specifically, to Sunny Day Farm. Where I, Farmer Bread, will be making a living. Now, for those who are new to the game, which, I know it's been out for years now, but you never know. Someone may not know anything about it. We have been given a farm by our dead grandpa. Left it to us in his will. Very old school uh, harvest moon, which is kind of what this was greatly inspired by. So yeah, he left us this farm and in three years time, he's gonna come and judge us. Like he's Jesus or something. That's right, Grandpa is Jesus. Anyway, this is not typical Stardew Valley, as anyone familiar with it should be able to tell by now. This is modded, of course, because that's just how I play games. Poorly and modded. And yes, I am Farmer Bread, uh, because for those who are new here, I am Rai, like the bread, and I am bad at video games. But Rai is also the name of my uh, regular files farmer, so I wanted to use a different name for my Let's Play file. I was like, well, what can I call myself? I don't want to use my real, I say real, Rai is sort of my real name, but I don't want to use my birth name. I don't want to use the name people can track me down with. But, uh... Yeah, since my intro is always I am Rye like the bread, I was like, screw it. I will be Farmer Bread. So let's see, what, what mods can I point out that I have? Well, obviously I have, like, a, a ton of recoloring stuff. I have stuff that changes the trees, it changes, well, the color of pretty much everything. Plus a reshade that makes it even brighter. It may be blindingly bright to some of you, and I apologize. I'm not changing it, but I apologize. I think it's pretty. Uh, I have... I have a version of the Get Dressed mod. Which is why I'm wearing a pretty dress. And stuff. Um, yeah, I have stuff that changes my buildings and stuff. Because this looks like it should like stop me, but it doesn't. There's also a bench there. Um, I have a hunger mod, which is going to make things very difficult early on. Uh, let's see. Because I gotta eat. But there's not huge access to food early on. So eating's gonna be difficult. <laughs> but if I don't eat, well, just like with energy and health, if the bar goes all the way down, I pass out. Um, and you restore it by eating stuff, of course. But there's not a whole lot to eat early on. And besides eating, you also want to make as much money as possible early on. Hello. Oh, gosh, an NPC. I gotta do the thing that every Let's Player does, the annoying thing. Where I gotta read what the NPCs say in a voice. I apologize in advance for that. <clears throat> what does Harvey sound like? What kind of, what kind of voice does Harvey have? I mean, his mustache and glasses make him look like a nerd. <laughs> the sweater vest he's wearing right now doesn't help. That's another mod. Uh, seasonal outfits. Just, they change their outfits based on the season, so they're not wearing the same thing year-round. 
Better four outfits for the year than one. I can't think of a voice for him. He's just gonna sound like me. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Cool. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. See, I've worked with, like, sick and elderly people. It's not. I don't care what people say. It is draining. Most of them don't respect you and don't appreciate you. I'm going on a tangent. Hi! No, don't leave. You have to stay and talk to me. Hello! It's nice to meet you. Cool. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. It really is. Like, did you see the flowers growing in my field and stuff? And like the trees. I'm gonna dig in the trash for food. Don't mind me. Hello, Penny. Hi. Oh, did you want something? Yeah, I'm, I'm really bad at doing voices, guys. I'm sorry. I'm like worse than your average Let's Player. I just can't buy in. I can't buy into the voice acting. I'm sorry. Hi. Oh, that's right. I heard someone who was moving on onto that old farm. I guess that works. Mm. I guess you're on the farm, not in the farm. Pierre. <laughs> it's Ms. Bread, the new farmer. That's me. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. Yep, yep. Uh, right, I wanted three more parsnips. Uh, I won't make any more work for myself today. Hello, you must be bred. Yep, <laughs> the new farmer. I'm Caroline, you have green hair. Oh, I'm never gonna tire of being called bread, I don't think. That was the best choice I've ever made in a video ever. Okay, stop blinking at me. Yes, I know. Cultivate and harvest a parsnip. And greet people. Oh, 31. Why do so many people live here? In reality, that's like nothing at all, but it feels like so many when you have to say hi to all of them. Alright. This. And as I start building my farm, I would like to remind you all of my slogan and the name of this channel. I'm not good at games. This farm is not going to be in any way efficient. The most efficient thing I've done is plant six of everything, so when I upgrade my watering can to water three things, I can just water... Like, each row twice. My word's good. Had I gotten, like, a nature bar or whatever, like a protein bar from the trash cans, I might buy and plant more things. However, I did not, and my energy is low. So, I'll probably... I'll probably call that a day in terms of crops. We'll probably just kind of fly through these first few days. And my goal, I think, is to make like an episode per day. Hold on. You can go away. You can go away. Actually... Uh, I don't know, should I forage? Oh, my energy's low, so I can't really... Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 okay. I guess I'll try to forage. Uh, can I get to the... Mm, really? It's uh, annoying. Okay, so I can't really go that way right now. 
Did I go to the beach? I didn't. Maybe there are things I can forage on the beach. Oh, there's a dandelion right there. I didn't notice it amongst the flowers. God, the spring flowers are my favorite in this mod. Alright, mods. Uh, along with the, like, the hunger mod... Another thing I've done to make my life harder than it needs to be is added a, uh, a mod that, um, I am smart, I have a good brain. It changes the bundles in the community center, which, again, for those who are new, um, you complete these bundles of items in the community center and it like unlocks stuff and it's how you win the game basically would you look at that it's the new farmer everybody's been talking about finally moved to the valley I see I've been working Fairhaven farm here for many years it ain't much but it's honest work yeah he's he's new he's a Joja fanboy so um yeah, I can't wait to get to know him. Yeah, it, uh, the mod, it makes the bundles more difficult, basically. Talk to me. <clears throat> yeah, it makes the bundles, uh, bigger and have different things in them. Oh, and here's another mod, uh more weather stuff. For example, fog that randomly rolls in from time to time. I mean, it's not totally random, like, the weather channel will predict it and stuff. And it doesn't really do much, it just adds a little atmosphere. There are, I think, new kinds of storms that can get kind of scary. Yeah, there's just, there's not a whole lot to do on your first day. I'm getting very hungry and I don't have any food, so that's troublesome. And the thing is, it doesn't reset when you sleep. It is very much made to be a challenge. I really wish it wasn't foggy. I'm probably missing stuff. Yes, um, ooh, food. Yeah, see, it makes it harder to make money because you're like, you know, trying to trying to eat all of your forage instead of selling them. Oh uh, no, I can't go this way. <laughs> Crap. Speaking of which, I should probably eat these. And the reason I got this mod was kind of to go... Oh, okay. <laughs> the trees were flickering in and out and it was scaring me. You! Gotcha, you sneaky bastard. Yeah, I, uh, I have some mods that add a bunch of new food, new crops, new artisan goods, new foods, and yeah, I wanted to really, I wanted a reason to cook, other than just like money and buffs. So now I need to eat. And if ever there was a reason to cook, it's the fact that you need to eat. Uh, well, we have some things to sell. Um, mm, I'm gonna sell these flowers, honestly. I just, I just really need things. I just need things. Um, let's go ahead grab those and then tomorrow uh, we will probably buy some more seeds plant some more things and chop some more trees because I have a plan for making money early on maybe throughout the game it seemed like decent money but um, it's especially easy early on I found out uh, I should go to bed. Yeah, I have a plan. Hello? Hey! 
Level up! Level 1 foraging! I can make food! I have to chop trees for it, though. It's expensive food. In terms of resources. Alright, so we got a little bit of money. So, that was day one of spring, year one. The start of my Stardew Valley series. It's gonna suck like every other thing I've ever made. But I'm gonna do it anyway. See you next time!